Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another episode of Droplist where we cover all the items that are releasing in various weeks for a specific brand. And in today's episode, we're going to be covering all the items that are releasing in week one of Supreme's Fall Winter 2020 collection. Yes, guys, just before my eight hour shift, I thought, you know what? Let's cover week one. <laughs> Let's do it. We've got time. We've got time. Although in saying that, week one, just like every other week one, is absolutely massive. There is so much releasing in here. This is going to be quite a long video, guys. But what I'm thinking we'll do is, uh, in order to cover week one, we'll be using a Supreme Community page. And thank God, the Supreme Community has the week split up into individual sections, you know, like jackets, hooded sweatshirts, accessories, etc, etc. So I think we should cover, we will briefly look at the whole week, but then we'll cover it in its individual sections, because otherwise I'll be talking for ages about certain things. I reckon my mouth would dry up. <laughs> uh, we, I think splitting it up into sections is just a way better way of handling it. But yeah, guys. It's finally here, the Fall Winter 2020 collection. Exciting stuff, exciting stuff. Whew. Well, as I said, we'll be using a Supreme Community page to cover it. It'll have estimated retail prices, uh, nothing confirmed. So take it with a little bit of a grain of salt. You know, don't think that it's guaranteed until it's obviously dropped there. Now, if you guys want me to cover upcoming Supreme Weeks, upcoming Supreme Drops, or Supreme Collaborations, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in the comment section down below, and a subscribe to the channel. We are trying to aim for our third milestone this month of 2,575 subscribers. We hit our first milestone of 2,500, we hit our second one, which was 2,550. Now, before August ends, we're about less than 15 subs away, guys. Hopefully, with your support, we can hit 2,575 by the end of the month. But let's press on. This is some exciting stuff. Let's move on to it. So let's head on over to that Supreme Community page to have a look at all the items that are releasing in week one of Supreme's Fall Winter 2020 collection. Ta-da! Here it is. Um, yeah, wow. Uh, it's, it's, um, it's a lot. It's a lot. Look at this. It, this is a huge, huge drop for this week. It just keeps going. It doesn't end. It's not going to end. It's just going to keep going. Are we going to hit the bottom of it? Finally. Finally. Like, you see why I said we have to cover it in sections? This thing is ridiculously big. I mean, I know week one is here to impress and start off the season right, but... This is crazy. There is so much stuff here. Well, as I said, the sections are the best way to cover it. It's got its estimated retail price underneath everything here. Uh, again, the retail price is not confirmed until after the drop. These are just estimates based off the track history of Supreme releases and everything like that. But yeah, this is pretty wild. Uh, what I thought was quite interesting is obviously it's dropping on August 20th, 2020. Uh, the items releasing in week one, there isn't going to be a week zero this season. Uh, traditionally, Supreme does a week zero where they will, uh, what, what happens is, is that everything that's scheduled to release in week one releases a week before in week zero, but it's exclusively in store. They don't do week zero online. So everyone that's close to a Supreme store gets week one's item a week early. And then when week one drops, they redrop the same stuff. But I assume because of coronavirus, things like that, they don't want people standing outside of a Supreme store, you know, because like if one person has the virus in the store, it's uh, sorry, in the line, it's going to spread to everyone in the line, then everyone in the store. That's just like a horrible idea for a cluster. So instead of doing week zero, They've just skipped straight to it and gone week one online or in store. So I thought that was pretty crazy. Um, it really shows how the virus is affecting even little things like skatewear drops and stuff like that. I just thought that was absolutely wild there. But uh, yeah, it's dropping 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or British Standard Time if you're in uh, Britain. 
<laughs> uh, yep, get ready for that. We'll now head on over and go to our first section, which you can't see because my big head's in the way, but you can see my mouse here near it. Uh, we will be going to the jackets section first. We'll work our way along all these other categories. So sorry guys, if you're interested in the skatewear, that's going to be the last thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the oh and the accessories so we have a nice way to end it off if you stay until the end of the video you'll get to see the accessories as well so let's go on let's head on over and have a look at the jackets releasing in week one Whew. so the jackets we've got seven of them apparently getting released in week one also do take the drop list with a, dra uh, a grain of salt because sometimes they can be incorrect most of the time they're pretty good but sometimes they can be incorrect but apparently we are getting seven jackets to start off the week. Now, uh, some of them we did see in the lookbook when we covered the lookbook yesterday. Some very interesting items there. I was super, super happy with the lookbook, uh, or at least the first half. The first half was definitely more interesting than the second half. And uh, one of the items that definitely appealed to me was the Vanson leather jacket here that was showcased in the lookbook. I didn't mind the quilted chains one. I wasn't a huge fan of the Script Supreme Varsity jacket, so um, I you can go on Grailed right now, right? And you can look up, um, you know, Varsity Jacket Supreme, Supreme Varsity Jacket, and there'll be heaps of search results. Uh, Varsity Jackets, they've been doing them for ages. A lot of them, a lot of the ones that you can just like easily pick up for like under retail, uh, these ones are uh, the water resistant nylon ones the ones that just aren't traditional varsity jackets So a traditional varsity jacket will primarily have a wool chest piece follow with leather arms there Now obviously this one's taken more of a 90s inspiration using the material nylon which is a plastic based material from memory uh, And I, I'm not personally a huge fan of nylon. I don't mind like your nylon bomber here and there but it i would much more be interested in a wool and leather varsity jacket than a nylon one and these ones you could literally buy a very similar one like they do the script um varsity jackets all the time you can literally go on grailed and pick up one from a couple seasons ago for a really cheap price like they're just not that exciting they release them all the time uh, the most hyped item from the jackets that are dropping this week is obviously the Smurf collaboration. I, I feel like I must be out of the loop or something like that because, I mean, I, like, Smurfs is okay. Like, back in high school, I played the Smurfs video game on my phone, the, like, village building one. But I'm not, like, hugely into it, man. Like, I never watched the sh series. I never really got into it. But apparently, there's a lot of people that are, that are you know, big fans of it. Because it's got 1,104 upvotes and 446 downvotes. I mean, it's a lot more popular than I honestly thought it would be. But each to their own, I suppose. If you want to wear a Smurf with Supreme written underneath it on your back, I mean, you do you. <laughs> Uh, this one's definitely not for me. It's allegedly going to retail for 268 US dollars. Woo! That's a tad pricey. Uh, we also have the Smurfs Gore-Tex jacket uh, being released as well. We saw the camo one in the lookbook. Uh, I just thought it was really weirdly designed. Like, I thought the Smurfs that are in the center here, if we can, yeah, there we go, the center here, that travel up the hood. I honestly thought they would do something like along the arms or down the arms, kind of like how a Kappa jacket is, you know? But no, they've kind of just placed them in the center. I don't think the camo one's the best one out of the three here. I honestly think the black one's going to be the first one to go. Supreme is really whack with their colors with this type of stuff. Like, they'll release a color that's, like, not too bad, which is just, like, black. Then they'll go ahead and do some crazy yellow, and then they'll just do camo. I don't know why they choose the colors they choose, but... There you go. Um, yeah, I, nylon shell jackets are just not for me. Honestly, out of the uh, jackets that are releasing this week that I would be most interested in, it would be the Vance and Leather one and the Quilted Chains one. I actually didn't mind the green Quilted Chains one. I thought that the gold gave a really nice contrast on the green. And I'm not usually a huge fan of green. Uh, I wouldn't pick up the white one just because you kind of lose the details of all the chains on the white. And the black one, I mean, I got enough black jackets. If I was going to buy this, I want to buy a color that I don't have a lot of. And that would definitely be the green one here. But quilted jackets aren't too bad. Apparently, this is going to retail for 198 USD. So, around about what I expect. 
Uh, the problem is with this Vanson leather jacket, like I love the Vanson leather jackets that Supreme releases. They're not the best when it comes to design, but I know the quality is going to be really, really good. The only problem is, is that because the quality is really good and they're collaborating with a big name brand like uh, Vanson leather, um, psh, that retail price, wild wild 798 us dollars that's going to be easily over a grand australian like that's just <sighs> so expensive like i understand the quality is going to be there if you're going to have a really really good quality jacket um the fit's going to be awesome but that's a lot of money that's a lot of money um honestly if i had to pick between this and the pyrex jacket that um I'm oh, sorry, the Averex jacket that uh, Palace released in their first week. I think I'd go with the Palace one just because it's more unique. This is kind of generic with just one color of leather being applied to it. The Palace one had like applique and all this crazy details and stuff. And I really like that. So maybe it's just because I'm a broke boy. <laughs> uh, but I don't think I could spend 780, 798 US dollars on just a single colored leather jacket with no like special details on it or anything like that. It would be good quality though, but um, last but not least, we have the Hounds, Houndstooth Logos Snapback Front Jacket. Um, this one is really, really odd. It's a cotton blend with a woven logo pattern and snapback closure, so it closes with buttons at the front. It's just, yeah, I can see why it's completely downvoted here. I'm These colors and everything, it has Supreme written on it, on the arms and on the chest here. It's just a very weird piece, but that's all the jackets that are releasing in the first week. Nothing that really, really excites me. I could definitely sleep on all these jackets and not be too worried about it. Um, I, I don't know. It, I'm just not really feeling them as much as um, previous seasons and stuff like that. But that's okay. Uh, let's head on over and have a look at the t-shirts that are dropping in week one. Now, <laughs> we've got a lot less t-shirts than we did jackets. We have the blowback rayon shirt. Uh, this one was showcased to us in the lookbook. The colored one was here. Uh, I definitely think the colored one is better than the grayscale one here, the blacked out one. You just can't see the same details and it doesn't look as impressive on it. But yeah, I can still rock it. I can still go with these pieces. Uh, because it's a rayon one, it's going to be a little bit pricey, 138 American dollars. Uh, the original artwork was done by Sarah Rabin, so you've got some, I assume, contemporary art on the front here. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, it's very split down the middle on how people feel about it. The rayon shirts usually sell pretty well, and they don't seem to resell on Grailed or anything like that, because people generally seem to keep them and really love them. So uh, I definitely recommend picking a rayon shirt up if you want to just have like a nice summer Piece. I know you guys are heading into the colder seasons, but I'm doing the exact opposite. I'm heading into the warmer seasons now, so something like this wouldn't actually be too bad for me. But um, yeah, I don't think I'd pick that one up from this week. Uh, next, we have a studded patchwork short sleeve work shirt. Nothing super, super crazy about it. It's got a studded Supreme logo on the left breast, just above the double pockets. I can't really do double pocketed tees. They look a little bit ridiculous. So it's not going to be for me on that one. Uh, we've got a patchwork Oxford shirt. Uh, I do like the patchwork ones. The first two, the pink and the blue one. I can not I can barely see the patchwork on the back three because it's just like one color. Like it's black patchwork, white patchwork, and I think that's a light blue patchwork. The first two stand out the most to me because they have different colors in the patchwork. So... Uh, yeah, that's releasing for 128 US dollars. And last but not least, we have this camo mesh short sleeve shirt. So um, if this is a poly mesh, like it's saying, this is going to feel like a basketball jersey. It's going to feel like a hockey jersey. And I um, don't know if I vibe with that with a camo short sleeve shirt. So that's probably going to be a no for me as well. <laughs> yeah, so the shirts weren't very impressive in week one. Um, the jackets were definitely more impressive, and that's saying something because the jackets were kind of eh. Um, what we'll do now is we'll head on over to the tops slash sweaters. So that'll be the long sleeves and the crewneck sweaters and stuff like that. And we'll see what is dropping in week one for that category. Oh, okay. So I, I um, misassumed what the um, the category was going to be. It looks like that T... Uh, that shirts was collared v-neck shirts only and it looks like tops and sweaters 
includes crew neck uh, t-shirts and t-shirts and sweaters. So it's a bit of a bit of a mixed bag here. So uh, to start it off with, we'll go with the static sweater. We saw this in the lookbook. I think we saw both colors in the lookbook from memory. Um, I thought this one was kind of wild. Um, it's an acrylic material there. Again, though, when are you really going to wear something like this? Like, this is something your grandma would make for you, um, but not something I'd be looking to pay 150 US dollars for. So it's going to be a no for me on that one. Uh, with next, we've got the Tiger embroidered baseball jersey. We saw this one in a week in, sorry, in the lookbook as well. Original embroidered artwork done by AOI. Um, I didn't mind this one too much. I didn't mind this one. That's cool. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I've kind of been vibing with um, baseball jerseys recently. Um, I was watching some YouTube videos and some guys are rocking some baseball jerseys over some hoodies. And I was like, damn, I really just need to pick me up a baseball jersey and wear it over some hoodies. I've actually been looking at that, like accessories and pieces that you can wear uh, over the top of hoodies and things like that. Yeah, there's a couple things I've been looking to pick up recently. I don't mind this one too much. Uh, the color that is most appealing to me is the black, but I don't mind the pinstripe looking one over here as well uh, allegedly it's going to retail for 188 us dollars though which is a little bit whew, a little bit pricey there uh but that's what you'd expect coming from supreme i suppose uh next we've got the color blocked soccer polo uh this was something that we saw on a sherpa jacket in the uh lookbook it looked a little bit childish on the sherpa jacket it looked a little bit weird um, and I still feel the same kind of way about this uh, polo. When are you going to wear something this wild? And would you still wear it with this huge Supreme logo plastered down the side? I don't think I would. Uh, they're asking for 98 US dollars for it. So not too bad. Uh, next, we have allegedly a small box tee coming out. So we got the small box hoodie uh, that released last season. And now we're getting a tee. So uh, this one's coming in a lot of colors. We've got blue, white, gray, purple, black, orange, floral, and that very whack looking yellow there. Um, and, the, and the floral one gets its own little, little, little photo there. <laughs> uh, yeah, we saw this floral print on one of the jackets in the lookbook. I didn't mind it on the jacket. So I'm keen to see that this motif is uh, reappearing this season. Hopefully they release it on a lot of pieces this season because I actually don't mind it. I actually think this floral print is actually pretty cool. Uh, as you guys know, I picked up the spring summer 2018 denim trench coat with that floral print on it. I thought that was really, really sick. Um, you can go watch the unboxing video on the channel if you want to go see that piece. But yeah, no, uh, it's just, I love floral prints. They're, they're underrated people and ho overhated. People hate them. People don't like them. People don't wear them enough. Seriously, floral prints, they work really, really well. You just got to get that right print. Uh, yeah, the small box logo tees, I mean, they're a nice little staple. They're, you know, 58 bucks for a nice little cotton tee. Not too bad. Uh, which one would I pick up? I mean, I'd just go with some basic colors, black or white. There's nothing too crazy there. And last but not least, in the tops and sweaters category, we have the plaid applique short sleeve top. All cotton slu slub jersey with tackle twill applique logo. So the logos will be raised on this. You'll be able to feel them. There'll be little patchwork pieces on the chest there. These aren't too bad. Uh, they're allegedly gonna retail for 88 US dollars. They come in various different colors, white, gray, blue, orange, I would say a lavender and a black. Um, yeah, they're all right. The, uh, the white one's not too bad with the red text on it, too bad. 88 bucks is the price and apparently it will be releasing as well but that is everything releasing in week one's uh tops and sweaters section we'll now head on over and have a look at the good old sweatshirts thing uh, uh, mm, okay <laughs> it's oh this is this is rough this is rough okay well week one does definitely not have the uh the sweatshirts down i'll tell you that Ooh, okay um uh, maybe i'm too harsh maybe i'm too harsh there but we'll, we'll go through it nothing instantly pops out to me uh let's let's dive in though so to start it off with we've got the zip up sweat vest uh heavyweight cotton cross uh cross grain fleece um yeah that's gonna be a no from me i mean it'll be an all right accessory if you chuck it over the top of a nice hoodie but I mean, would I pay 110 US dollars for it? Probably not. If someone's selling it on ground for 55, 
<laughs> I mean, I'd pick it up. 55 bucks, yeah, but 110 for this? Uh, maybe not. Uh, next, we have the Blocks Hooded Sweatshirt. Uh, I saw this one um, from afar. I saw this one from a distance, and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool with the actual like colors and everything like that going all over it. What's inside the colored blocks there? Turns out it's Supreme in text, which kind of made it a little bit more disappointing. I honestly would have preferred if they released these three colors, uh, sorry, these three colorways for the hoodies, just as the colors, no text on the inside. Don't make it like a crossword puzzle or anything like that. Keep it as just the colors. That would be really, really nice. Like little color blocking pieces. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. I don't know why they had to put their brand's logo in it. It's going to retail for 168 bucks. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be a no from me, Chief. That's, that's a no from me, but that's okay. We'll move on to our third one. So next we have the Ferro studded hooded sweatshirt, heavyweight cotton cross grain fleece with vinyl applique and studs. So we saw this one in the lookbook. Um, I had an idea that there was going to be a big graphic on the front or back of it when we actually got to see it. When we saw it in the lookbook, we saw it underneath the Vance and Leather jacket. So, uh, quite interestingly, that, uh, that whole outfit from that lookbook is going to release in this week. Uh, I wasn't ready for a Pharaoh though. That was something I was not ready for. So, we have a huge studded applique Pharaoh on the back of it. And on the front, we have Supreme with a same design going around the hood. Um, I'm going to say it, but honestly, the design looked better when it was covered by a jacket. <laughs> it looked way better in the lookbook than it did when I actually got to saw the, uh, see the piece here. Oh boy. Oh boy. I tell you what though. Okay. That was a little bit harsh. But out of all the colors that are releasing, I honestly don't mind the white one too much. I would wear the white one under a piece and have the studs on the hood sticking out as I wore it underneath the piece there. But um, yeah, that's rough. That's rough. Um, we'll move on. Next, we have the portrait hooded sweatshirt. So it comes in quite a few colors. Gray, uh, olive, orange. Black, white, blue, and uh, I would say can fairy floss. Fairy floss. Uh, it has a little portrait there. I don't know of who, but it looks like someone wearing a Supreme cap. And it has Supreme embroidered on the hood there. I mean, it's a nice little basic hoodie. It's a nice little basic hoodie. Can't go wrong with it. Nice little easy graphic there. Nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, can't, can't go wrong with it. 158 bucks for that. I mean, if someone was selling this for below retail on Grailed, I'd pick it up, but this is not something I'm super, super excited for, but it's a nice little piece. Just a nice little hoodie that you can pick up if you'd like. Uh, next, we'll move on to what looks like our only crew neck sweater releasing this week, which is the Big Arc crew neck. Cotton fleece with a uh, chenille applique logo as uh, white, blue, gray, black, yellow and red with supreme written over one arm there so um it looks like the actual logo itself is a uh, cross stitch embroidery um patches all over the side of it it's very weird positioning of the piece honestly i would have liked maybe just a smaller logo done on the upper of the chest um done in those little patch pieces i think that would have looked a lot nicer I think that would have been a lot better. I don't mind the white and red one uh, as as much as the other colors though, because the white and red color scheme of Supreme is very iconic. But I don't know how I feel about the logo going over like the side of my arm there. I got to give him props for doing something so out there and so different. But yeah, I just don't know if I'd rock something like that. Uh, it's a it's going to retail for 148 US dollars. Not too bad, but I think it's a bit of a hit or miss for me on that one. And for the most sought after hoodie slash sweatshirt that is releasing this week, we have the Icy Arc Hooded Sweatshirt. Heavy cotton cross grain fleece with tackle twill applique embroidered logo there. So it's got some nice embroidery on it. There it is there, embroidered supreme logo with all this frost on all the individual letters there. Uh, it comes in gray, navy, uh, yellow, black, pink, and green. Um, I don't mind the first color. This gray with actual like blue um, lettering with the frost over it because it's cold. It's blue makes sense. Uh, yeah, I don't mind this too much. The first one's not too bad. Uh, it's going to retail for 168 USD. The rest of the colors aren't horrible. 
It's just that like if it, it's icy, it's meant to be cold. It's got blue letters. It, it just works better, you know. Um, but that's it. That is it. That is all six of the sweatshirts that are releasing this week. Uh, not too bad. Nothing too crazy. Nothing exciting really. But at least they're releasing some this week. Uh, we'll move on to the pants now that are releasing in week one. And next we have the pants. Uh, for me anyway, I never really come to Supreme for pants. I don't think I can fit in any of them. I'm usually like a US 38 and I think the biggest size Supreme goes to is an extra large, which is a 36. So unless your boy wants to drop a few kilos, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit into any of these. <laughs> Uh, the most hyped ones or the most sought after ones that are after the people are after this week very obviously is the Smurf stuff to obviously do like the double denim, you know, get that 90s vibe going. Uh, I don't mind the jeans as much. The Smurf is actually very subtle by just having it on the butt pocket there. It doesn't even really scream supreme when you first look at it besides the uh, little leather logo there and the supreme embroidery on the left pocket there. But it's not hugely obvious and I kind of like that because of it. I can understand why it's upvoted there. Next, this is actually something I would be interested in if it came in my size. Uh, it's all cotton 14 ounce. It's uh, just some really nice stone washed, really washed out slim denim jeans. I like it. It's nice. It's not too bad. I don't think they would fit me even if they made them custom for my size just because the fit. I like a straight leg fit and this sort of looks straight leg, but it looks like if it's a slim one, it's going to get really thin as we go further, further down. I kind of just like it being one whole uh, fit all the way down. A straight leg cut. It's a, it's a lot nicer, but I really like the wash on these. These are really, really nice. Uh, and understandably, the Smurfs Gore-Tex pants are obviously the third item because the Gore-Tex jacket's going to be sought after. People will want the uh, pants as well. I, I can see these selling out. I mean, I can see all the Smurf stuff selling out. That's going to be really sought after. The rest of it, kind of just some nice jeans. Just some nice regular jeans here. Very, very nice. Uh, piping track pants. We've got the Blocks sweatpants to match the hoodies. Uh, sorry, the... Uh, yeah, the hoodies that we're releasing, some work pants, quite interesting. Uh, those are meant to match the uh, the jacket that we saw, the most downvoted jacket of this week, and it also comes in some extra colors as well. And studded work pants with some studs over the butt pockets and the pockets in uh, on the front as well. We saw these in the lookbook, they're not too bad, but again, nothing too exciting here. Just your basic uh, assortment of jeans, a couple sweatpants, and obviously the Smurfs collaboration stuff as well. But that's really it when it comes to the pants. I uh, will move on over to the shorts and see if there's any shorts that are releasing this week. Well, <laughs> that makes it nice and easy to cover. We've got one lot of shorts releasing this week. Uh, 118 USD is the price. It comes in two crazy camos there and two less crazy um, camo colors there. You can sort of see the camo print on it. It's very hard to see on the basic colored ones. Very easy to see on like the multicolored ones. Uh, this is to match the jacket that we saw in the lookbook. I wasn't a huge fan of this camo print. It's going to retail for 118 US dollars. Not much else to be really said there. It's all cotton, so it's not a nylon one. So they're not really like water or swim shorts. They're more of like actual casual shorts. I could see some people being a fans of the camo one. I can definitely see that. It's just not for me. I'm so iffy on camo prints and this digital looking camo print. Eh. Eh, it's not really doing too much for me, uh, but that's all the shorts releasing this week We'll move on over and have a look at the oh, at the t-shirts as well Okay, so this is where all of our uh, t-shirts with graphic prints on them are So these aren't the ones where the actual graphic is a part of the material This is just a couple of blank supreme tees with uh, graphics printed over the top of them. So we've got quite a few uh, We've got the tire tee, which is literally a tee with a tire on it Understandably, the most downvoted tee this week. We've got the Stay Positive Camo Tee. I assume this is going to come in other colors. It's got some script on how to stay positive. Uh, we've got Supreme done in various different logos on the Multi Logo Tee. The Lovers Tee, which is uh, Baby Cupid, I think it is, with Supreme written under it. It's not bad. Not bad. Uh, next, we've got the uh, no, no, Nuvar? N Nova York Tee. 
Um, with just Supreme written on it. Yeah, it's all right. We've got a jet T with a speeding jet on it. I can see this in other colors being a big sell. I can't see the red one being a big sell, but this will come in various different colors. Uh, I can see the other colors selling really well there. Uh, next we have the balloons Supreme T. I mean, that's not bad. If you just want Supreme 1994 done in like a balloony kind of font, it's a fun little tee that you can pick up for 38 bucks. Uh, next we have the Futura, uh, Futura logo. So it's Supreme done in a Futura, uh, I can't say it, Futura font uh, with, on the back, if we can see, yep, there we go. Justice for all on the back of it. Not too bad. This will come in heaps of different colors there. Uh, it'll be 38 US dollars. I reckon it might be a little bit more than that. I just have a leading suspicion it will be, but you can pick that one up there if you're interested. Uh, next, we have a photo tee uh, with Ferro Sanders tee. Um, it has, I don't know his name, maybe his name is uh, Ferro Sanders, playing a saxophone on there with, I assume, his signature on the back of it. Assume his signature on the back of it. Uh, it's a nice little photo tee. This is going to be obviously very sought after because everyone loves the photo tees. This is going to release for 48 US dollars. And last but not least, we have the most sought after tee from the whole season, which is the Supreme Verify tee. This is the one with the, um, the uh, uh, capture with where you have to um, click on the items that are Supreme. I think that's very, very smart. I think they should have done it on hoodies and jackets and stuff like that. It's kind of sad to just see it on a tee there. Hopefully that does re-release on a bunch of other pieces later on in the season, but this is going to sell out. This is going to be the, one of the most sought after items this week. People are going to go crazy for this tee here. But yeah, all in all, not too bad with the tees. There's actually some not too bad ones. Like I don't mind the jet one. The jet one's kind of cool. The photo tee's all right. And the verified tee's not too bad. Those, those three there, pretty solid, pretty solid. The rest though, not really for me. Not really for me. I will move on now and have a look at the hats that are releasing this week. Ooh, yeah, we got a lot of caps releasing in this first week and I like it because a lot of the caps are taking influence from or taking the motifs from the pieces that we have seen so far in this week. It's actually really, really cool. So we have the Interstate 6 panel. I don't mind this one too much. I kind of like the playful play on it. So it's got 94 on the front because Supreme was founded in 94 and it has Supreme written on the back with embroidery. In some nice colors there, nice little six panel if you're after it with a cool little Americana reference there. Uh, we've got a penguin beanie. Yeah, I don't know where this one's coming from. A Supreme penguin beanie for 34 US dollars. Uh, that's a little bit weird. Uh, next, we have the Futura, Futura uh, logo in a five panel. Uh, it has it done the text done in different colors on different colored uh, caps. I think the black and white, the uh, sorry, black and white, the white and blue, and the red and white are the best colors. Honestly, um, not much else there really really speaks to me. Uh, next, we've got the Zip Mesh Camp Cap. So it's a camp cap with the Supreme BOGO on the front of it and a zip down the top of it. I don't know if that has like a small pocket or something like that that you can hide some cash in or something, but that's weird. That's weird, man. That is a, um, that's a weird piece there. I don't know why they're doing that. Next, we've got the multicolor logo six panel. We've got the purple, black, blue, orange, camo, and red six panel with uh, a Supreme done in different colors. I'm not really feeling that one as much. I don't think it's doing too much for me. It's kind of just a Supreme logo done in a bunch of colors on the six panel, not too exciting. Uh, next we have the uh, S logo done on a new era cap. Uh, this one's obviously to mimic the icy uh, hoodie that we saw earlier. Not a bad motif, I don't mind it too much. Uh, the new era caps though, uh, I don't mind the red one. Or the navy one over here, the navy and red one there, they're not too bad. I don't mind a new era cap. I haven't worn caps for ages, but I would go for those if that was for me. Uh, next, we have the Gore-Tex S logo six panel. So this is going to be quite sought after. It's going to be high quality six panel done in some really nice colors. Lavender, um, peach, navy, green, white, and black. Some nice colors. The S, the, um, S logo six panels are iconic. People love them. Uh, I can definitely see this selling really, really well there. 
And last but not least, we have the loose gauge beanie. Some nice little ribbed beanies coming in various different colors with Supreme embroidered on the ribs down the bottom there. Very solid piece, very solid piece. Retailing for 34 USD. How can you complain? It's a nice little hat there. And for those colder seasons, uh, I can definitely see something like these caps. Oh, sorry, I almost forgot one there. We almost forgot the new era of Big Arc beanie there. Uh, this one's taking reference from the Big Arc crew neck sweater that we saw earlier, but that's all of them there. That is all of the caps that are releasing this week. Oh, sorry, hats releasing this week. I don't mind the loose gauge beanie. Uh, the new era uh, S logo is not too bad. Um, and yeah, I don't mind the Futura, uh, Futura um, logo five panel there. That's not too bad. Not too bad as well uh we'll move on now we'll move on to the bags we've only got three more sections to cover which is the accessories and the skate wear and then we're done so let's move on into the bags and see what bags are releasing this week so it looks like this week's bag have a overarching theme here so it'll either come in a military green black beater or red um we get a neck pouch which is a very very small pouch that you obviously um, wear around you it's water resistant 315d uh cordura nylon crinkle twill two liters it holds uh this one will be retailing for 38 us dollars next we have the zip tote which is the same material 25 liters um 110 us dollars for that one comes in obviously the green there and i mean the most crazy color that's releasing is the uh leopard one here i can see a lot of i would say uh, i would argue women would be really keen on this one i know that um leopard bags are were a staple quite a few decades ago or years ago uh mini duffel bag water resistant same material nine liters i don't mind this little mini little duffel bag it's got a nice little um silhouette to it it's got a nice little shape you know it's a nice little cylinder nice little square cylinder there uh next or well, rectangle yeah next we've got the sling bag um water resistant nylon again four liters a nice little bag there for 78 bucks i like the shape of it as well i like it uh next we've got the waist bag so you can have your fanny pack in red leopard black or green and last but not least we have the backpack uh which is coming in the same colors there for 148 us dollars 21 liters so the thing that fits the most items is the zip tote at 25 liters there that's quite interesting uh it's also not the most expensive item there you go so if you want the most storage you go for the zip tote which i think it, that means it's going to be massive it's going to be a huge huge zip tote there uh the bags usually sell pretty well a lot of people enjoy the bags i've never been a huge fan of a lot of the styles of the bags here i don't mind the mini duffel bag if they did like an extra large version of it i'd be super keen i have an extra large um duffel from supreme's 2017 season over there absolutely love the bag i actually need to use it more often uh but yeah i love the duffels duffels are good stuff um that's all I've really got to say about it there. So uh, there are all the bags that are releasing in this first week. We'll now move on to probably the best part of this season, I gotta say, because this season's been absolutely wilding with this part, and that is the accessories. So let's move on and have a look at the accessories. Oh boy. <laughs> I could look at all these upvotes, look at them all. Everyone is just going absolutely wild for this stuff. God damn. So we got the basics that release every season, the Hanes tagless tees, the socks and the pan and the boxes, nothing too crazy there. Uh, we've got a keychain, retractable keychain there uh, with a collaboration with Keyback. We've got a watch plate as we are getting the watch, not in this week, but we are getting it later on in the season. We're getting a watch and you can buy a plate for 58 US dollars. You can buy a plate here. Uh, 12 and a half, 12, almost three, uh, 13 inches there. So it's bigger than a vinyl. So it's going to be like that big. It's going to be a huge plate, you know, but like if you want to pay that much money for a plate, I mean, go for your life. <laughs> uh, next, we have the Supreme Black Diamond Storm 400 uh, head torch. I mean, that's a bit of a laugh. I mean, you could wear this with a whole cycling outfit because the, the, they've released a bunch of cycling stuff over the past couple seasons. So there's that. We have the Supreme Anchor Nebula Capsule 2 Projector. Uh, this thing projects in 16 by 9 HD resolution, <clears throat> video playtime up to two and a half hours. So it is um, wireless by the looks of it. It looks like you don't need to have it plugged into a power source to use this. 
you can watch essentially a movie before it runs out of power uh, it plugs in via HDMI so you plug it into like a laptop or something like that uh, and it's it streams and what it, uh, sorry it projects in what looks like at least 720p maybe 1080p that's absolutely wild the problem is though this thing retails for allegedly 628 US dollars Bruh, that's, the, that's almost more expensive than the Vanson leather jacket that we saw right at the start of the video. That's absolutely wild. I would not pay that money for that. That's crazy. Uh, next, we have the name badge stickers for $12. So you get a pack of 100 of these name badges to put on places and put on your uniform and stuff like that. I mean, I think that's a good laugh. A hundred of them, pack of 100 for 12 bucks. That's a cop, man. That's a cop. I would just, you know, come up with wacky names and put it on stuff. <laughs> put it on name badges and things like that yeah i don't mind this 12 bucks i'd do that that's a that's a hilarious little accessory there uh next we've got for the final three accessories we've got the supreme hydro pack stash one liter this one uh is collapsible so when you don't have it filled up with a liter of water it's going to be a big bottle if it's a liter of water uh you can compress it down and store it as like a little one here very very handy uh, it's BPA and PV, uh, PVC free uh, and it's 38 US dollars. So not too bad. It's kind of a fun little accessory that's actually like usable. <laughs> you can actually use this accessory for your day to day life. And that's what I don't mind about the drink bottles whenever they release them. And okay. Next we have possibly one of the most hyped accessories of the whole season, which is the Spalding Basketball. So this is an official Spalding quality basketball um, and a collaboration with Supreme. It has um, the, uh, uh, what is it? Is it George Washington? I honestly can't remember American presidents. Printed all over it. It's just, um, it's crazy. It's retailing for 108 US dollars. It looks like it comes in two colors, a slightly green tinted one, a slightly white tinted one. I can see the white tinted one being more sought after, but also American currency is green. So I can see this one selling really, really well as well. These are just two very collectible accessories. So many people are gonna be going for that. Uh, that's a crazy way to start off the first week. Uh, last but not least, the final accessory to cover is the Supreme Bicycle Clear playing cards. So they're a bunch of really well done, waterproof, durable playing cards, uh, dual branded. Uh, I think that's crazy. I think that's a, a crazy, crazy little item there. It's retailing for 18 bucks. So if you just want a nice little deck of waterproof playing cards that'll last you probably for a long time, pick up these Supreme ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all in all, the accessories are very good for a first week. I can see a lot of people coming to this drop purely for the accessories. Uh, a lot of accessory collectors are going to be going crazy for this. But yeah, pretty, pretty wild stuff here. Uh, we'll now move on to our final, final accessory, our final, final area, which is the skatewear. And last but not least, we have the skate boards and skate accessories. So we have three boards releasing. We have the camo logo skateboards, uh, just like the button up me uh, poly mesh tee there. Comes in pink, gray, uh, woodland camo and water camo. Uh, not a bad one. Hard to see the logo with everything that's going on in it though. Uh, next we have the balloons skateboard referencing the button up. Um, no, sorry. The printed tee there. Comes in two colors, white or black. I think the black one works a little bit better because it allows the letters to stand out a little bit more. And last but not least we have the jet skateboards. I'm not a huge fan of the World War II uh, fighter jet. I uh, like the space fighter jet and the modern day fighter jet. Those are sick. I'd love to have all three on, up on like a rack and have it as like a big uh, art piece accessory there. That would be sick. I'd also love to just like buy some Supreme boards and skate in them. <laughs> That'd be sick. I'd love to learn how to skate on one of these. Uh, we also have the Supreme independent trucks that are releasing and the Supreme Spitfire classic wheels in three different colors. Uh, and three different sizes by the looks of it as well. Yeah, no, um, this is crazy, awesome stuff. I don't mind the Jet skateboards, I think they're sick. I think they're the best, but a lot of people really want the Camo Logo skateboard, which I thought was kind of crazy, so. There you go, you have that. Well, that is it guys. That is the huge, huge drop list of week one. This video is probably gonna be like 40 minutes long because of how many items we had to cover, but that is it. 
that is everything thank you if you managed to stay watching to this point in the video um because wow there was so much to talk about this week it just it feels like it never ends like i just keep scrolling keep scrolling it just never ends there was so much that's apparently releasing in this week i'm almost doubtful that this is all going to release in week one but maybe it is man this is absolutely crazy um what was your favorite piece that's releasing this week was it the jackets was it is something in the shirts, something in the tops and sweaters, something in the sweatshirts, something in the pants, or are you more of a fan of the accessories and smaller items there? Uh, let me know. Let me know what your favorite piece is on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or scroll on down and let me know in that comment section below. <sighs> wow, that was the drop list for week one. Oh my God, how long was that? <laughs> Oh, I've got to go ahead. Uh, I've got to go do my eight-hour shift now, guys. That was that was a lot to talk about. That was a lot releasing that week. God damn. Um. Yeah. Wow. Um. Was there anything that I was really, really after from that week? Not really, actually. From from week one, there are a couple pieces here and there that I was like, yeah, all right, that's okay, that's cool, I suppose. But there wasn't anything that I'm like, that is a must have for this season. Because I'm not an accessory collector. Um, I don't collect, I don't like collect anything from Supreme. I mainly come in, I'm like, yeah, is there anything nice? Any nice jackets, any nice tees, anything like that. This week, there wasn't anything that I think that I like have to have that if I miss out on it, I feel like I'm missing out on the whole experience. I feel like there's a lot of stuff releasing here that I could just just do without, you know? Um, but maybe you disagree. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you're like, nah, Daniel, you're sleeping on so much stuff. There's so much good stuff releasing in week one. Uh, let me know. Let me know if there's anything that I am sleeping on down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to cover upcoming drop lists, upcoming Supreme Weeks, upcoming uh, Supreme collaborations, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in the comment section down below letting me know that you want me to cover more of it, and a subscribe to the channel. As I said, we're trying to reach our third milestone this month, which is 2,575 subs. We hit 2,500, which is our first milestone. We hit 2,550, which is our second milestone. Hopefully with your support, guys, we can hit the third milestone of 2,575 subscribers by the end of August. But that's all I've really got to say about week one of Supreme's drop list there of their fall winter 2020 collection. Let me know how you feel about it in that comment section below. And until the next drop list video, until the next Supreme video, until the next streetwear talk video, guys, I'll catch you later.